Here's an iPhone app that has a really long name, the SMS Email Landscape Big Keyboard. Basically what it allows you to do is type out SMSs using a keyboard because it's in landscape mode it is a little bit easier to use. Um, you need to put in the provider name because it does use an SMTP connection to send the SMS via email. So if you're in the US you'll find that there are heaps and heaps to choose from. In another country like Australia where I am, by default it had Optus Mobile and then a bit of a mistake there, T-Mobile Austria. Not very useful guys. So I put in Telstra and you can see when you add one yourself you put in the country, the provider name and the SMTP format number. We actually couldn't get it to work, I think we've probably got the, the, the number incorrect. If you go back to the start you just type it in, put in a phone number, it does interact with your contacts if you want to do it that way or you can directly type in a phone number which I'll do now. You hit the SMS button. Oh, we forgot to choose a provider number so here we go, we'll choose Telstra, done, hit SMS and it takes you into, your, into the email. You can type from the email as well which is ironic because the whole sort of um, benefit of this so they say is that you know you are using it in landscape mode but actually it, it kind of goes back into the usual standard. You just hit send and there you have it. So when you see this app on the iPhone store you might think oh fantastic I'll be able to send as many SMS as I want for free. Now theoretically maybe this makes this possible sort of but you're sending via email which is not as convenient as just regular SMS anyway. So it has to use data anyway. That's correct and for a dollar I think it is quite deceiving because you do need to know your provider name and it's it's not a straightforward, easy, wow, SMS for free. Personally, when I used it, it was a bit clunky as well, so... Yeah.